Okay, apologies for the technical difficulties there. It seems the camera battery died, so quick little recharge and I'll just finish off what I was saying. So we were up to talking about concentration and effectively if you cool this reaction down in the harbour process, ammonia will liquefy first, has the lower boiling point. So you can take away some of the ammonia and it will just leave you with the hydrogen and nitrogen. So what they can then do is put these reactants back into the system and more or less just recycle them. So it just saves on costs with that. And yes, the battery did literally die one minute before the end. So quick little sum up of things you need to know. Obviously the definition of your dynamic equilibrium, so the forward and reverse rates are the same, and the concentration of products and reactants remain constant. Definition of Le Chatelier's principle, the factors which affect it and the factors which don't and being able to describe and sort of answer and explain in terms of why these three factors here would affect the system. So remember to go through the three steps, one state and cap that obvious, two what happens to the position of the equilibrium and three explaining why. Just to finish off, why we've said sort of a catalyst does not affect the position of the equilibrium, you should know the definition of how it works. So it provides an alternative pathway with a lower activation energy. Now, anywhere in that definition, does it state which of these reactions it's going to prefer? No. There is two reactions going on here. The catalyst aids them both equally. So however much it speeds the forward reaction up by, it speeds the reverse up by the same. So if you were going to get a 50% yield of ammonia in four days and you added a catalyst, you would still get the 50% yield of ammonia, just now you might get it in one day. Hence why it's used, because you can just churn out that 50% quicker and quicker. And that is it for equilibrium.